This week on Buck Commander. So Rochi's got thousands of acres in Kansas and Missouri to hunt. You know, he, he kind of zeroes in on, on one buck. You know, he, he really has that one deer that, that he really wants to go after. He is fixated on Nine of Diamonds. This deer we call Nine of Diamonds has been the boss around here for a long time. This deer is really mature and we need to get him on the ground or natural causes are gonna get him. Let's just say I've shot younger. <laughs> we have a beautiful day for racing. And they're off! We have Willie Robinson. We've got Alan Roach. Down right there. Let's give him a little walk. Talk about Martin. <laughs> Coming in hot. Mr. Luke Bryan. Smoked. Here we go. Oh! Ryan Langerhead. It seems like every year Rochi has a particular buck that he's after. Just so happens the last four or five years, it's been the same one. So Rochi has been hunting a deer called Nine of Diamonds for pretty much half a decade. There's been bucks that have gained legend status. Some of them it's for the size of their racks, others it's just the way that they are just the dominant buck on either property. We have seen him, we've all been around him, we've had our chances at him, and he's the big buck, he's the big boss. Kinda like me with the Buck Commander guys. Dang, there's a big buck coming right here. I don't know what it is. From the south, I think it's a short time, 10 pointer. Yeah, that's him. 
So this buck we call the short 210 comes in and I just wasn't interested. Uh, I wasn't feeling it. We came here for nine of diamonds and that's the deer we wanted. They're not walking in front of me. Roche is passing big 10 point deer looking for the nine of diamonds. I'm sitting here with a spike in front of me. I mean, in my book, a 10 is better than a nine. Heck, I'll take a seven. One thing we know for a fact is that we've got regular trail cam photos of him all the way back in 2012. So this is the first time I became really interested in this deer, is when Benny and I were sitting at a stand we call the Big Pond. Nothing you can do about the weather, but man, the month of November was 70 degrees most days. And we just couldn't get a pattern on any of these deer. But the good news is, it's getting close to late season, and for some reason they're still on does. The last few days we've been seeing them chase. So we threw a decoy out here. The fog's kind of killing us right now. The goal was to face that decoy across the pond. There's a big flat up there. And all we need to do is get one of these big deer to lay eyes on old Buck here. And he could get excited. There's no telling how old this deer is. I know we've been hunting him for five years. You could say he's, you could say he was eight. You could say he's 10. Nobody knows. Oh yeah. That's a shooter. This deer had a really small home range, and we could tell from the cameras, and he was consistent every year. You would think a deer like that would be easy to pattern. Not at all. Nine of Diamonds comes in with a doe and just did not see our decoy. Up here, I know something's up. I can't even force it. 
We didn't know what to do. We had tried everything we could think of over the years, and none of it worked. Um, just one of those deer. I think one of the big draws for everybody to the E3, and you know, it speaks volumes about Rochi's character that Nine of Diamonds has been the number one deer on his hit list for a long time, but he wouldn't have cared if anybody had killed that deer. It was just completely selfless. That's always the way it is there, that it's a team game. Doesn't matter who it is, if the biggest deer on the ranch walks out and you don't shoot at him, Rochi's gonna be mad. Pretty excited about this spot. They've been seeing a couple of really nice eights. He's got a deer that he's been chasing. And uh, this deer's legit. Nine of diamonds. Curls all the way up. And I know he's been chasing it for a long time, but you know, because he's such a great guy, he said if you see him, shoot him. So I'll probably take him up on that offer if he, if he comes by. So Matt's sitting in a stand, we call the North Trail, and Nine of Diamond shows up. Matt's got him at, I don't know, 15, 20 yards, and just backstrapped him. I don't know if the, if he ducked the string or the arrow a little bit, or just shot a little high, but we trailed this deer forever and just ran out of blood. I didn't know if this deer would make it. And you never know when a deer's hit. I know these deer are resilient and at times can be really hard to kill, but you know, when they don't show up on camera for a while, you're always thinking the worst. Now it's just a waiting game. Everybody's on pins and needles. Is he gonna make it through? Is that deer gonna come back next year? After Matt shot that buck, we thought he had disappeared off the face of the earth. 
didn't think we'd ever see him again. Fast forward to this year, and sure enough, he shows back up on camera. I'm flustered right now. I'm bamboozled by this deer. Seven of Diamonds is his name. Formerly Nine of Diamonds. And of course, we were all out here standing in the middle of the food plot. Saw him from the truck. That's him. Well, we can't hunt here tonight. Unreal. If you get in a little earlier, got a 25 yard shot. But, he took off after a doe. It's a good thing. What we don't know is if they all saw us walking in here from up on that hill. Probably never see him in this vicinity again. Unless it's like two in the morning. So sun's going down, we've got almost no camera light left, and I'm thinking this is just another failed attempt at the legend. I could not believe it when I heard footsteps, some chasing, and sure enough, right in front of us, he pops out with a doe. This totally caught us off guard, and we knew it had to happen fast if it was gonna happen. Fortunately, Drake took the range finder, gave me a great range, and I had a, I had a window. So after years of chasing Nine of Diamonds, it was finally over. And I can say without a doubt, that's the most rewarding chase or cat and mouse, whatever you want to call it, that I've ever had with an animal. He's pumping it. Oh, wow. If, if you guys have never seen what an old warrior, I'm gonna say eight year old buck looks like. You're looking at one right here. I've had a handful of encounters over the last, I guess four or five years, but it averages out to probably one a year where I see him live. He's lost some tines, but he's gained a lot of, uh, a lot of character and he gained a lot of my respect to the tune of I quit hunting because he was just, he was just better than we were. And we got lucky tonight. This went on way longer than I ever had hoped or expected, but at the end of it, when we were finally holding him, you, know, you look back on all the opportunities I had that I may have screwed up or where he just was on camera for days at a time and then vanishes. I was just finally glad to get that done. Rochi, congratulations on killing the deer formerly known as Nine of Diamonds, but now he's the Seven of Clubs.